Hello everybody, I'm Pastor Steve Green of Breton Word of Faith Church. Today is Wednesday, August 5th. This is the first refresh message for this week. Our title is Rejection of God and a Disordered State. I am excited how the scriptures we're looking at this week once again highlight the need, the, the absolute uh, requirement for us to uh, allow God into our lives on a daily basis in order for us to uh, have the blessing of heaven upon our lives. Uh, the scripture we're looking at is Romans 128. Just before we get to it, the rejection of God uh, leads to a disordered state. Uh, it does this in individual lives when it's impacting um, enough individual lives, then it leads to a disordered state in society. And we see that, I believe, in our world today. So this scripture, Romans 1, 28, describes how this happens. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things that are not fitting. Three key phrases in that verse that we'll look at in today's refresh message. They did not like to retain God in their knowledge. That means they refused to recognize God. Their refusal was a deliberate act of human pride and self-sufficiency. They considered whether God should be retained as a factor of importance in their lives and they decided against it. Uh, they tested the worth of acknowledging God and they found Him wanting. They concluded that God was unnecessary to their daily living. The response was, uh, or the result was, God gave them over to a debased mind. God did not make them have a debased mind. A debased mind is our natural state. All God did was step back and leave them to their own devices. Now, debased was not a word that leapt uh, to my mind with a clear picture as to what it would mean. So I, I did some research in the English dictionary, just looking up debase in the English dictionary. It means to reduce in quality or value, to lower in status, esteem, quality, or character. Uh, as in, an example would be, he debased himself by lying to his supporters. Uh, I thought different Bible translations might have different words. I looked in 10 different Bible translations and the word debased was the word most commonly used to translate this particular Greek word. Um, depraved uh, was also used more than once. I looked in three Greek dictionaries, uh, dictionaries giving the definitions uh, not of the English translation, but of the Greek word itself. And uh, in the three dictionaries I looked at, <clears throat> worthless was used in all three. Uh, unapproved was used twice. Rejected was used twice. So going back to the uh, English dictionary, uh, which remember it said reduced in quality or value. If something's worthless, um, if it's become worthless, then it has definitely been reduced in quality or value. Um, and so the, the scripture we're looking at says this, even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind, which would be a, a worthless mind, um, a relationally unintelligent mind, uh, a mind that uh, does not have his presence or power or light working in it. And because of that, uh, this was to do those things which are not fitting. And so because of being relationally unintelligent, these people then were uh, doing things that were relationally not to their advantage, things that hurt them relationally. And we'll look at more of that tomorrow. Thank you for joining us in this broadcast today. We are thrilled to have you with us. Uh, join us again tomorrow.